Hey, welcome to uh, another video. The question is, what is the height h of this parallelogram? So we've got this parallelogram, and we're being asked to find this length here, h of it. Um, h will cut the, this side of the parallelogram at right, at right angles, so obviously we're going to have to use this right angle triangle if we're going to use a bit of trick here. So, the angle ma b is equal to uh, 90. So what I'm saying is, is that MBA, this angle here, is actually equal to 90 degrees. Now the reason for that is that this here is alternate angles, so we've got Z angles, so this will be 90, which will mean that we can calculate this angle here. So angle MBC, MBC is going to be 135 minus 90, which is 45 degrees. So drawing that little triangle out here on its own, this one here, and so this is 45. This is the height that I need to calculate, and this is the 12. So the first thing we should do is consider the triangle, which we know to be right angle, label the sides. This is opposite, this is adjacent, and this is hypotenuse. Okay, I've got the adjacent, hypotenuse, and I've got the angle, so using Sokotoa, okay, we're going to need to use cosine. Write down the ratio. Cos B is adjacent over hypotenuse. Therefore, cos of 45 is equal to the uh, adjacent side, which is H, divided by 12. And then the opposite of dividing by 12 is to multiply by 12. So H will be 12 cos 45 degrees. Now, going to our, my calculator... Um, first of all, you should just check what your document settings are. Okay, mine are actually radiant by default, so I've just changed that to degree. Um, if you're doing studies, you should probably make that default. And then press calculation mode, and it will always say in the top corner what it is, but it's not possible to change it there. So I need to do um, 12 times trig, which is this one here, cos of 45, 45 and then press enter and I'm going to get an answer of 8.485 and then I should round that off correct to three figures to be 8.49 centimeters okay so there's a little bit more tricky trigonometry problem where you have to do perhaps two, two things before actually finding the answer now from that if I wanted to I could now find the area of this parallelogram by taking the base length which is 22 and multiplying it by the height, which is 8.485. That will give me the area of that parallelogram. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you got something out of this. Thank you.